Hello, I'm Rob Pugh and welcome back. So you've probably gathered from the intro and the title, we're going to be looking at the Peak Design Sling 5 litre. This one's in stealth black. Before we get started, who is it for? Well, I think it's for the person who's uh, going on holiday and they just want to take a camera, maybe two lenses and, and that's it. Or excuse me, or you're going out in the afternoon and you want to uh, just take a camera and a lens, well this is going to be the bag for you. I've bought it mainly to carry my, uh, my Spark and my Maverick uh, drones in for when I go out, like you've seen the footage uh, that started this video off. But I am heading off to the Dominic again soon, so I'm going to be using it over there just so I can put a camera and two lenses in it. So let's have a look around the bag and see what it's got to offer. So that we'll start at the back. Uh, there's no pad in it, it's quite solid. Now, I would have liked to see a little bit of padding even side with a, a flow gap up the centre. And what that means is normal rucksacks, they have a padded either side with a gap down the centre and it allows airflow up the centre so you don't get sweaty back. I did notice when I was using it yesterday, um, I had a coat on, it was sitting on my back because it sits quite flush. I was getting a bit sweaty under the coat where this was sitting. So uh, that's one thing to know. Uh, it's got the nice uh, pivot hinges on there as well. So it does sit very comfortable on there and you've got a nice grab handle on the top, that's quite comfy. They do a neat little trick where there's little pockets there so all the ends of the straps get tucked in so nothing's really dangling down. It's quite neat when you're holding it. Again, we've got one of their straps on. So think of this strap like the, the sling or the, the slide light. Uh, it works in the same way. You've got this unique thumb sort of grip. You put your thumb in and you pull it round to open up which I'll demonstrate in a bit. Um, there's a class there that where you can unhook it and you can turn it into a bum bag. Um, not that we all live in the 60s but some people still like that. Uh, and I can see some uses for it but we'll go into that more later. So on the front of the bag we've got a nice pocket there that's unzipped and you can probably fit your wallet and a mobile phone in there, sit quite nicely. Zip that up and then your main compartment you've got the zip here. Uh, we've got a pull which can undo and it can fasten to the next zip so if it's on your back, a little bit of security, they can't pull it round without undoing that. So the uh, the black version, the stealth version, it actually comes um, in yellow in the inside and we can see the compartments here. It comes with two dividers and the dividers are different, so both dividers different. So this one obviously uh, is like the origami uh, style that they're well known for, Peak Design. This is the shelf, so you can push it down and that turns into just a shelf. Now you can see this divider here is split in the centre. So with this one, it's a bit like more your, your Peak Design Everyday Backpacks. Uh, you can do the divider, so you've got the shelf, but it's got a back to it as well. So uh, don't be fooled thinking that they're both the same. Um, they're not. Each divider is different. Comes with two. Then inside, uh, quite a nice room in there, so if you're using it for drones, the Maverick fits in nice there. If you want the Spark, then this divider, flip it round onto the back, the Spark fits nicely in there. For cameras, you can fit a, a lens in here. If you're using an Olympus or a Fuji, then you could probably fit um, a camera and probably four lenses. Uh, for DSLRs, you can fit a DSLR in there and uh, a lens in here. So a DSLR with a lens attached, not with a battery grip attached. So for me, I've got the Sony. I can have two configurations. I can remove this and have a lens attached and it go on its side. Or I can push that down there and then the camera can fit in with the lens going in there. And I can fit a lens in there. Um, now, I'm using at the moment on the camera, I'm filming with the A7R Mark II and uh, I've got the 12 to 24 lens on f4 and that fits in nicely into here so that all works nice there uh, you've also got um, sort of a, an elasticated pocket there and on the side there you can put some extra batteries in there or something and then onto the back you have got a, a compartment here and it is magnetic you can see it's fastened up there. They say you can put up to a 9.7 inch uh, tablet, so like, you know, an iPad uh, Pro. Got to stop you there. 
you can't I've got the uh, 9.7 uh, iPad Pro it doesn't fit in there you've got to really ram it in and it still protrudes at the top and it pushes out on the side because you've got bevel sides on the on the bag so I, I think the maximum uh, tablet you can put in there is something like a Kindle or uh, an iPad mini would fit in there a treat nothing more uh, so moving on to the pocket here now here we've got the unique design that they like you've got the battery compartments where uh, these two uh, are black to uh, tell you that they're good batteries and red is for dead so your uh, used batteries you put in there you can fit some cables in there and maybe uh, maybe a notepad and a pen as well so that's kind of the overall inside the bag obviously it's nice and yellow and bright on the on the black version so you can see everything that's in there i like that uh, and you've got loads of configurations so uh, me i use the uh, sony a9 the a7r2 and 3 they fit in there nicely with a lens attached probably how, how i would use it is i would remove this center one nice big space there to put the camera in and then just carry a lens there with some batteries and that's it but the main role for this for me is to put my spark in with some batteries and the controller uh, like you see at the beginning of this video so I can throw it over my shoulder head off out and uh, and cover um, some b-roll excuse me b-roll footage for uh, my YouTube so so that's kind of uh, the the bag itself so let's see how it works in practice. We'll go to a, a wider view and then we'll, uh, we'll get this on and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so I'm not gonna sort of tell you how to put the, the bag on. It's, it's quite explanatory. You've got that there, you throw it over and it's a sling bag so you wear it like this. Now, uh, I, I must say for, for this type of bag, it is comfy. I've had a shoulder operation on this side. I don't really want to put any weight on there at the moment. So that's why I was just looking for a shoulder bag to come across uh, and I can just have uh, one camera and uh, a lens in there. So uh, the pad, it sits there. It's not the, the comfiest, it's quite thin, but it's meant to uh, be designed to pull around quite easily. And you can see, the bag is fitting nice and flush on the back. So you can do it the lazy man's way of pulling the bag around where you don't even touch anything. And you can quite easily bring it around, the bag's up there, and you can simply undo it, get to your camera. Obviously you're not meant to use it like that. Um, so again, you can just pull it around and it's there. So what you're meant to do is it's sitting there nice and comfy. You've got the latch which is just sitting underneath there. If you put your thumb in, you pull out and lift up and it just slides out. The bag will then drop down sort of your bum height and then you can just swing it around. You've got the bag here, you can literally undo it. You've got access to all your camera uh, gear or your drone, pretty easy. I mean, if I was using it as a drone, you know, it can sit there uh, and I can fly it quite nice. So uh, again, push it round. Now, they've changed this webbing. This webbing's a lot more grippier than their, uh, their slide light uh, camera straps. Um, I'm presuming it is gonna bed in, but what I have noticed is it's just a, a little bit stiff to pull it down. I just need to use two hands to uh, get it there instead of a single motion, which is a good thing because you don't want this drifting. Now, after time, the, the straps sort of wore, uh, wear in, they come a little bit shiny, and what you notice is the bottle there, it starts to drift, so the more weight you have in the backpack, uh, this kind of drifts up a little bit and you need to just pull it back down into position. Didn't happen with me yesterday when I was using it. It actually stayed exactly where I put it, which is a, a good pointer. So this is kind of the, the bag, how it looks. Now, again, like I said before, you can use this as a waist bag. So the clip here in the center, it undoes. Now you're meant to fold it around and you've got another clip here. Now what do you do with this? Well, you simply just push that into the space there so it just fits in quite nice and now you've uh, you've got a bag so we're gonna have to lengthen this out so it can go around the waist so we'll put it out to about there that should work nicely and now we can just pass this round as a waist bag and we can just push it onto there tuck that in and you'll see it's just sitting 
there on the back quite nicely so when i go to the dominic uh, i'm going to be doing some uh, horse riding some hiking and that so i can actually see me using it like this um that way i've got a t-shirt on it's not getting really hot and sweaty on my back and the bag's sort of soaking uh, so i can leave it there and my back's breathing and i'm not getting as hot so i can see me using it also uh, i've got the drone in here you're hiking away it's just that motion of grabbing it i can sort of pull it round it's sitting here undo it and then i've got this kind of this sort of working area where i can get the spark i can pull it out and i can literally hold it have the the remote here send it off without putting anything on the ground so for me that that sort of looks good i'm um, i'm intrigued to using it like that again the motion pulling it round and when you want to take it off it's just a, a simple flick the uh the latch and off it comes if you want to turn it back into the sling you pull that out you put the latch back on and uh, adjust the motion coming down and then you are back now to it being a sling you can throw that back around it's there on the sling now some of you might think well I want to wear it on this shoulder coming down that isn't a problem you simply undo the connections just here and here and then you revert the strap around the opposite way, reattach it, and then you can put it on the opposite way. So, um, quick look sort of on the little details I've missed. Obviously, we've got the little Peak Design logo on this side. And on this side, you've got that um, capture click, clip pocket that you can attach to as well. So you are better to have it going this way on this shoulder why are you asking because your capture clip will be on the bottom there so if you have your camera on there all the weight is going to be at the bottom pulling it down if you have it in the top your camera is going to be sitting on the top of the bag and i can imagine that's not going to be uh, very comfy so there's a reason why they've put it on the bottom uh, so yeah so there it is it's uh, it's pretty waterproof um i i've not really tested it in a downpour the thing I like about it is the zips are sealed, so if you are on the beach and you throw it on the sand, no sand's going to get in there. And it's that sort of material where all the sand just drops off instead of getting all stuck in all the webbing as well. So I'm looking forward to taking this uh, on my travels and really putting it to the test. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at the bag and seeing if this is the bag for you. If you've um, had a Peak Design bag, uh, if you have any problems with it, then please do post that down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this bag and other Peak Design bags. And apart from that, please head over to my blog. Uh, check me out on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Instagram is where I post all my images. And apart from that, give us a thumbs up. It always helps and enjoy watching the rest of uh, my videos. So thanks for coming. Check back soon. See ya.